channel and I'm here with the amazing fan, Edward Claire. Yeah. I've been a fan of you guys since I was really young and Dude. I'm still pretty young. I know, I'm sorry, I'm nervous. How are you guys? Good, how are you? I'm doing very good. So, are you guys here? Hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. How are you guys here today? Um, we're here because we're um, playing the new Taylor uh, solid body guitars and they're phenomenal. And trying to sell us on anything other than what we've been playing for the last 25 years is was no easy feat to do. And um, we're just pretty amazed by them. So when they asked us to come play a show, we said, absolutely. What do you like most about Taylor guitars? Um, well, God, the acoustic guitars, don't you don't really need to sell those. They're like the, the industry standard for excellence. They really are. And uh, I mean, every guitar player who's playing something else wishes they owned a Taylor, basically. And, um, so, but the electric guitars, one of the reasons I like Taylor in general is that the uh, people that work with them are so just down to earth and they can talk to you and you can tell them what you want, they're very interactive and that's really great. And the electric guitars just look cool and sound cool and they play great. So, I mean, what more do you need? How do you feel when you have an awesome guitar in your hands? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's great. And I like uh, the lightweight too. I'm used to a really heavy guitar too. Uh, uh, the standard with the humbuckers that they have, unbelievable. With the five way switch, you get a lot of different sounds, much more than with my, uh, my other guitars. I love them. Really nice. So, how long have you guys been playing music together? Uh, going on five years. Yeah. Four and a half years. Okay, and how long have you been playing music for? When did you know uh, I'm a musician? This is what I need to go for. So you graduated high school in 2000? Yeah. All right, I was already in the middle of, I was actually on my way to my third wife by then. That gives you any idea. I gotta catch up. Yeah, I know. I gotta eat some groupies. <laughs> uh, groupies are fine. They don't take you to the cleaners. Oh, did I say that out loud? Um, no, I, um, I've been playing guitar since 1977 or something. Yeah, since I was like 14. So, it's been a long time. You wanted to be a musician. I think I started about 11 or 12, so and it was a long time ago. So <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never stopped. I mean, never put it down for a day, pretty much. So no, I knew I wanted to be a musician when I was four. I just couldn't afford a guitar until I was like 12, 13, 14. But yeah, any words of advice? I just that's all I've ever wanted to do. Any words of advice for the viewers out there who are looking at you and want to be in your footsteps? Well, and go further. Well, I mean, it's a different world than when I came up, you know, the record labels aren't what they used to be. The whole game is different. Um, I think what, but what it still comes down to is great songs and sing in um, an original voice and write stories that people can relate to. I think that's, I don't care if it's the 50s, the 1950s or the 2010s, it's, it, that's what people connect with. You know, a distinctive voice. That's the first thing you said when you came up to me. You go, I know your voice. Yes. And, you know, and you know, learn to get your your own voice as far as not just singing and writing, but also uh, the music that you're writing and play it with passion. That's all I can say. Are there any instruments or new electronic devices and fun gadgets that are coming out that are ignited you to, um, you know, write different songs? No, not really. I, I don't think I'm that, that um, influenced by technology. I, the, the thing I, seriously, no joke, the thing I've been most excited about lately are these guitars. I mean, it, it makes me want to rock again. And uh, that and the fact that my 15 year old daughter is in love with uh, Jimmy Bedge and Led Zeppelin. And it's bringing all that back up again. I'm like, I saw them when I was fit your age. <laughs> and it's really interesting. And it's, it's funny because when we get together now, that's all we do is play Led Zeppelin. Classic rock, yeah. Soundcheck is all about classic rock. So, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it never goes away. So Led Zeppelin is a band that inspired you. What are some other musicians or things that have inspired you in your life or your art? Me, me personally? I'd have to say the Beatles, definitely. Beatles, Stones, Zeppelin, uh, moving into Neil Young, uh, later maybe the Pixies. You know, uh, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, Otis Redding, I think, singing, and um, Stevie Wonder, Prince. I mean, there's just been so much, there's so much phenomenal music out there that kids are just now finding, you know, that makes the modern music in a lot of ways just kind of pale because it was closer to the original, 
you know, the when it came out. The blues and, you know, everything kind of, rock and roll derived from the blues and country and everything like that. So when you get back to the originals, you see the beauty and the simplicity of, of just how awesome it was. Yeah. And what about you? What are some of your musical inspirations? Oh, man. Old, old, no. Let's go before that. Let's start with the old Aerosmith. And I mean old Aerosmith. Come on. Uh, but, you know, I liked everything from old classic rock to, you know, Earth, Wind & Fire, Stevie Wonder. But uh, since I'm a guitar player, I always lean towards, you know, the good rock old bands, you know, Zeppelin, like you said. Any, anything in that, in that area. Aerosmith. Aerosmith again. Yeah. Any tours you're going to be playing around? Yeah, we have a record coming out on March 25th called The Biggest Years, and it's a covers record. It's real fun. Oh. It's, a, it's like 15 covers, and there's guys, these guys play on about uh, eight or nine songs, and then there's songs from the old guys that used to be in my band and the guys before that. And it's all my, me, you know, rearranging covers and playing with whatever incarnation of every player at the time. But these guys have been in the band for five years. So. Do you have any, any and then we're touring. And then you're touring. In April, May. Awesome. So, All right. Well, I'll be there. All of you out there at the Iron Network should go to every player. Thank you so much for speaking with us.